Good morning, Andrea Tarowski here. Now in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the perfect example of why it's so important that if you're thinking of owning your own business online, that you have to truly love what you do. And you shouldn't only be going into your own business making adventure because you want to make more money or because maybe you don't like the job where you are now, but you need to truly think about, you need to remember that you have to do it and think about something that you want to do every single day. Because for, for those people who are starting out their own business, it's not simply working two hours a week, that's it. Over time, once you have certain systems in, in place and maybe people working for you, you could afford to work two hours a week that's it. But initially, you will be working a lot. You will be working 40-hour days easily. But the key is, it won't even feel like work if you love doing what you do. And I have a perfect example for you. So I actually stopped to think about this because my uh, fiance said to me, he goes, you've been working a lot today. Like you have literally been working since you got up until we went to bed. Like why do you have to do so much? I thought the point of owning your own business was that you don't have to. But, and you know, I, I thought about it and thought like, oh wow, yeah, I did work a lot today, but I didn't even realize it. Like it, it didn't even occur to me. He had to tell me a couple times like, um, Andrea, are you hungry? It's lunchtime, you know, because typically if I'm working away in my in my um, office I do have the door shut and this was yesterday which was a Sunday and I don't typically work all day on a Saturday or Sunday so that's why he said that to me and I said to him like well you know what yes I own my own business but I love doing what I do and um, I do own my own tutoring business first and foremost this is why I, I teach and then how I teach other people how to start their own online business because that's what I did I started age 19 and now I'm making a full-time income by working part-time hours right except for yesterday where I worked literally when I woke up till we went to bed which was later at, at 11 30 so you might be thinking, well, why did I do that? Well, you know what? It's because it's around that time. It's almost the end of the year. So this means that I update all of my tutoring courses. So I tutor dental assisting students um, and I tutor dental hygiene students how to pass the board exam. But more recently, I have this new course which takes a lot of my time and energy at the moment because it's all new. Um, I teach actually students who are still in school. So I tutor them on you know how to pass their classes, exams, clinic, projects, group assignments while they're still in school. So technically I have three things on the go. The um, Dental L stu uh, student program, which is where I teach students still in school, is new. So I have to put in everything. So new videos, new mock exams, new materials, new live sessions, everything. But um, the dental hygiene and dental assisting board exam prep courses that I have, I was simply updating them. So what this means is I changed the whole interface. So I made it look completely different. So actually, I can show you guys. Let me just share my screen here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So again, a perfect example of why you have to love what you do because, again, it didn't even... It didn't occur to me that I was working all day yesterday. Do I do that all the time? No, but when I'm on a roll, so to speak, I just keep on going and going and going until I'm finished because I didn't intend on rebuilding the entire course all day yesterday. I usually plan to spend about two hours um, a day on updates, you know, if they need to be done, but I spent all day yesterday. But just to kind of show you guys what I'm up to. So this is what is uh, the Board Exam Prep Academy. So all I did, so I still have all of the same um, PDF documents, mock exam files, videos in here, but I just made it look nicer. So you see all of these sort of images here. This is outlining the topics that they have to know. So these images are all new, like all of these. So I did imp input these 
And then if you click on them, it will take them to that topic that they want to learn. Because if you're taking the board exam, you have to know every little thing, right? So that is what I teach them. So as an example, let's just click on this one since it's the first one. So I had to input all of this stuff new. Now I did have it all in the computer somewhere, but I had to find the file, input it here, and that takes time, right? Because I'm not the most organized person. I pretend to be, I want to be, but sometimes I'm just not, right? So all of this stuff here, I did have to input because this is me teaching them a class. And then how it happens is I do, um, as I said, I do input the videos, so some teaching videos also, some PDF files here and here, and some live um, tutoring sessions that I did have in the past here, and a mock exam package here. So this is what their course looks like for all of these um, different types of topics, right? So just for the heck of it, we'll click on another one. Um, so you see it's the same type of thing. Now, this takes time, right? So this literally took me all day. So I did have all of the videos saved on YouTube, all of the files saved, but I had to go into YouTube and let's say find the videos that I have on instrumentation down here um, and then imp input them here. And then I had to find my PDF files on my computer and then input them here. So I did have it all, but this is the first time that I've sort of put it into the one area. Because how I had it in the Board Exam Prep Academy before was I would simply have the files and the videos sort of over here and the topic title I would have at the top. But it looked kind of disorganized to me. Like even if you click here again, this to me looks a little bit disorganized, but I don't know how else to put it in there, right? And students like to be able to see the file that they want to download because how I did have it before was, you see these little um, file things here? I would have them like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, but students actually told me that they like to see what the file looks like, like this, before they open it. Um, to me, this still looks a little disorganized, but I try to make it as pretty as possible, and students love it. This is what students want to see, right? So, but it takes time. But it didn't feel like work to me. In fact, even when I went to sleep, or I tried um, to go to sleep around 11.30, I'm pretty sure I didn't fall asleep for at least another hour because I was just thinking, thinking, thinking how else to kind of organize things. How should I sort of input the files? Should I separate the topics even further? So I kept on thinking, right? So you know, if you're the type of person where you're trying to decide the type of business that you want online, because there's something for everybody, trust me on this, there's something for everybody. It's just you have to decide what your something is. You know, um, a good rule of thumb is what are you able to teach somebody else? You know, what did you go to college for? What did you go to school for? What do your friends and family say? Oh, wow, like you are good at this topic, you know? Um, is, is there something that you could talk about for hours and hours and hours and not get tired of talking about it? Is there something that you could work on every single day and not be tired about, you know, or of working on it? You know, think about something like that. And when it comes to um, my dental hygiene and dental assisting courses that I have, I, I am a dental hygienist. I was a dental assistant 13 years ago, but I have learned these skills that not everybody has, right? And I am good at taking tests and exams. So this is why I teach other students how to be that good also, and I love it. If I didn't like it, I would not be doing it. You know, we all know those teachers who pretend they like their jobs but don't. We all know those 
nurses who we've met in the hospital and in, in, in the doctor's office who we know they hate being there. So why are they there? But you can't be that person. You have to pick something and love it. So again, a perfect example. See, I did a lot of work here, you guys. It took forever, but my, my students love it and they, and they are so thankful to have a more sort of organized um, file format inside the board exams prep academy. So you can leave the video and think about something that you want to do. If you've started your online business already, then you, you might need to take a step back and say, okay, am I doing exactly what I want to do? Do I love to write articles, make videos? Do I love talking to my clients? Do I love making purses? You know, whatever your business is, you have to love it and pay attention to the details. Um, you know, just make sure you love it. I can't say it enough. So I hope this helped a little bit. If you need anything, as always, please just let me know.